good afternoon. I want to thank the opportunity to be here and to speak after all these people who spoke before me and really made me very happy, happy to hear. And I have good news for all of us. For the first time in the history of humanity, the whole world has democratic governments. All 200 and some nations who belong to the United Nations, who form the United Nations, all of them have democracies. Are they perfect? Probably not. But compared to the dictatorships, they are wonderful, even with their defects. This is a new moment in our history as humanity, as a species. Besides the enormous advances of science, and the possibility that these advances, the third industrial revolution with the computer, the internet, and so on, offers us to practice democracy. Without the internet, we couldn't do it because media is still private property. But uh, internet is, is not private property, it will never be. We are in a moment of the history in which oppression is being eliminated. We don't accept the oppression of animals, of women, of children, of people who have different races, ethnics, religions. We are in a very interesting and important moment in our history in which opportunities are multiplying. And I would say solidarity economy is just one of these opportunities. We are challenged, all of us, to invent, to create innovations, social innovations, cultural innovations, political innovations. Everything is not enough, what we are doing. We achieved lots, but this is not definitive. And particularly, the challenge to preserve nature and preserve this planet in which we are living, preserve our climate. I cannot forget that Philippines was victim from another earthquake who took the life of over 100 people and probably made miserable the life of many more. We have to preserve the climate. And I'm sure we are going to do it because this is the necessity and the desire of the majority. And democracy has this enormous advantage. The majority wins. The minority has to accept this. What I want to say is that we are in the beginning of a new era in which lots of problems which seemed impossible to, uh, to solve are being solved because much more people are participating. Much more people are thinking with us. Never in the history of the world we had so many people in schools. Not only children, not only men, not only women. We have lots of people in my country, in Brazil. Servants, housemates, are trying to go to the school again. And they get it. And they cease to be housemates and begin a new career. The liberation of women 
is doubling the potential of humanity to the front, to experiment, and to solve, and to overcome. For the first time, as much in my life, and I'm quite old, humanity is facing the possibility of making all of us happy. Happiness is not something which we must hide. I'm speaking for myself. I would never, one year ago, have talked about happiness in such an open, public occasion. But I'm sure now that science is helping us to understand how we get happy and how we unhappily make us deeply unhappy. This knowledge is important for all of us because democracy can be fully uh, taken advantage, taking its fruits if we are happy. Democracy was not made for people who compete, who hate, who want to kill the other, destroy the uh, competitor, because if not, the competitor will destroy himself. We are now, for the first time, creating through cooperatives, through solidarity economy, and many, many other things which we have presented before I spoke here ways in which we can cooperate. And by cooperating, uh, playing games in which there are no losers. This is happening really. It is a challenge in the sense that we must overcome the environmental crisis, which is serious. And the fact that oil is probably beginning to finish it takes millions of years to make new reserves of, of oil. We don't have, at the moment at least, any comparable source of energy as oil is. So there are challenges. And the pessimists are, of course, lots of arguments, lots of motives. I am not a pessimist, to the contrary. I think that we are overcoming, we have to fight, we have to work, we have to discuss, and we have to be happy by doing all this together, without disputing anything. I think this is our message for the moment, for this historical moment, which is probably going to last decades is not it's just beginning. So the direct economy is part of this. And uh, I, I lived the process in Brazil already over 10 years. And the fascinating thing is that every day we find out new innovations discovered and applied by very, very simple people, workers. Women and men who work in the, in the land, in industries, in, in commerce, and whatever. I have been visiting yesterday here in Manila, a cooperative of garbage pickers. What they do is wonderful with the things we throw away, which would uh, destroy our environment if they were not these pickers making of this garbage something new, beautiful, interesting, and with total dignity. So what I want to tell you is that we must take this moment and its opportunities and its possibilities particularly our imagination, not hesitate to transform our ideas in experiments, in total, concrete social experiences. What we heard by our colleagues who spoke before me, 
they spoke about experiences. Everywhere. We must multiply this. We must bring the universities, the schools, the clubs, the, 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 whatever it is, to help us, give us courage to experience more and more, and use internet and all the new communications, the social networks, in order to everybody take knowledge of what is being experienced and what these experiences open in new possibilities.